join me in welcoming Bruce. Thank you very much, and thanks to Oasis. Thanks for all of you. Uh, we had challenging weather. I appreciate your being here. Uh, when my friend uh, Ike Leggett was elected Montgomery County Executive in November of 2006, uh, he asked me first to help with the transition and then to create an Office of Community Partnerships. Uh, so we would be open to all our residents and uh, strengthen ties to ethnic communities and the nonprofit and faith uh, based communities. And our goal was to make Montgomery County uh, the most welcoming. Uh, community uh, in the country. Montgomery County has become a talent magnet for people uh, from around the world. More than one-third of our more than one million people uh, were born in other countries. Wow. And if you count their dependent children who were born here, uh, then you're talking about more than 40 percent of our uh, one million people. Understanding uh, virtually every culture and speaking uh, almost every language is Montgomery County's great asset uh, in the 21st century global marketplace. Realizing the importance of county government uh, being culturally competent and in touch with uh, our extraordinary immigrant population, as well as envisioning possible economic development opportunities, County Executive Leggett asked me to create a sister city program. What a great idea, I thought. I knew that Rockville had a sister city in Germany uh, and had had one for five decades, uh, but I didn't know much more. Uh, we're a county, I thought. Uh, do counties have sister cities? Uh, do we have to pick just one sister city and make all the other uh, ethnic communities mad at us? Uh, whose sister city is it? Is it the county executive sister city? Is it the county government sister city? Is it the public's sister city? Well, Sister Cities International had all the answers. Yes, counties have sister cities. Uh, and no, you don't have to pick one and make everybody else mad. Uh, our neighbor Arlington has five sister cities, I found. The state of Maryland has 21 sister states. Uh, and the relationships are not politician to politician. They're not government to government. They're meant to be people uh, to people. The goal is to establish long-term and sustainable people-to-people uh, -people relationships. We created a community nonprofit called Montgomery Sister Cities as our partner, recruited a board, and reached out to the community to see who wanted to step up to help us uh, build a sister city program. We were clear that the county government was not going to devote many taxpayer dollars to this. If it was to succeed, community members needed to step up. Our founding board chair was former Indianapolis uh, Mayor and Congressman Bill Hudnut, whose vast talents were perfect uh, for the task. In the summer of 2009, Montgomery Sister Cities hosted a public meeting to solicit community ideas and proposals. We had an excellent turnout with people advocating for sister cities from all across the globe. The most energy came uh, from the former residents of El Salvador. This was perfect. Tiny El Salvador is the number one country of origin of Montgomery County's uh, immigrant population. So we debated whether sister cities should be a uh, suburb of the capital city, but the strong view of the community was that we needed to select a sister city uh, in an area where the people uh, had come here, had come from. We quickly focused on the Department of Morazan, a central battleground in the Civil War of the 1980s in the eastern and more rural part of the uh, country. This is where the war was fought and from where uh, so many fled to the Washington region. A department is more like a state, but the cities of Morazan are tiny, and a state was the best uh, fit. Having never had a sister city, we decided to send an advance group to Morazan to test the waters and see if a sister city seemed viable. The lead advocate for Morazan was Evelyn Gonzalez, and she made sure that we would be impressed. Here she is greeting us at the airport in San Salvador after spending weeks making sure air exploration uh, would uh, be a success, and it was. And we agreed that County Executive Leggett would lead a delegation to Morazan in July of 2011. In addition to being uh, captivated by the beauty of the country and the friendliness of the people, I was moved by learning the history of the struggle. A bloody civil war raged between 1979 and the 1992 peace accords um, were signed. The military-led government, uh, supported by the United States and death squads, reigned terror on civilians for more than a decade. The hero of this tragic period 
of civil war was the Archbishop of San Salvador, who pleaded with President Carter to suspend U.S. support of the Salvadoran government. And it was shot and killed in 1980, the day after he called on government soldiers to obey what he called God's higher calling and stop the killing. Pope Francis uh, canonized Archbishop Romero as a saint in October of 2018. This is his memorial in the Metropolitan Cathedral of San Salvador. As we were on a limited budget, paying all of our own costs and wanting to get to know the community, Evelyn arranged for host families for each of us. I was blessed to be paired with a Diaz family, and they could not have been better host. Here they are uh, uh, when they came to visit Washington in November of 2015. Morazan Governor uh, Miguel Ventura and County Executive Leggett uh, signed copies of Montgomery County's first sister city agreement in a packed auditorium that included 60 who had traveled from Montgomery County. Uh, this was July 26, 2011 in the city of San Francisco, Guterra. It was a festive day made more special because of our partnership with Governor Ventura, as decent and honorable a person as I have ever met. I once asked him what he was doing during the Civil War. He said he was a priest in the mountains with the rebels. He had a backpack and one change of clothes. Montgomery Sister City board member Neftali Granados and his brother Jorge Granados hosted the delegation in their home town of uh, Guadaguagua, uh, showing us improvement projects and meeting with the mayor. Catherine and Ike Leggett met with indigenous Lenca people uh, who had retained many of the traditions from before uh, even the appearance of significant European influences on our American continent. Neftali Benitez took us to his hometown of uh, Joteca to participate in the inauguration of the uh, town square, and we were greeted by these students. The most mo moving experience uh, of the trip uh, was a visit to the site of a massacre in El Mazote uh, on December 11, 1981. A special battalion of the Salvadoran Armed Forces, trained by United States military advisors, killed every man, woman, and child in the village, and then set fire to the buildings. The woman who was our guide said she was only alive because she'd been out of the village that day. Recognizing the Montgomery County taxpayer dollars should not be used to support projects in our sister cities, I reached out to a number of nonprofit groups uh, for help. Mover Moms, Hungry for Music, and others pitched in. Habitat for Humanity, uh, Metro Maryland became the standout. All local habitat organizations are required to have international projects. At my request, John Poxas uh, committed Metro Maryland uh, group to focus on Morazan. On our way back to San Salvador, we visited with habitat volunteers. That's my daughter, Emily, with uh, shaking hands with the governor. And that's Connie Morella right over his mm. shoulder. When the County Executive's African Advisory Group learned about the Salvadoran sister city, the members told me they wanted one. I told them we would likely select one city in one country in the entire continent, and I wish them good luck on agreeing on that choice. Hundreds of diaspora uh, members from nine countries competed in an open process organized by the Advisory Group and selected Gondar the ancient capital of Ethiopia. The Ethiopian Students Association of Montgomery College, led by Yassin Yamam, carried the day. I realized Ethiopia was complicated immediately upon arriving in Addis in January of 2012. So we were in the Holy Trinity Cathedral. Uh, I look up on the ceiling. I see the Star of David. I'm in a cathedral. I see the Star of David. I close my eyes, and I heard chanting, and I thought it was in a mosque. As in El Salvador, we sent an advanced group to lay the groundwork uh, for a county executive's trip. One of the great advantages of Montgomery Sister City program is that we have so many people here who were born and raised in our sister cities. Solomon Ayala uh, helped lead us on our trip to Gondar. He took us to his high school. And when we visited the health clinic, we found that one of his high school classmates was in charge. This is Ayana. He's been with us every step of the way for seven plus years of our sister city relationship. At least three different mayors uh, have hired Diana as a point person for uh, this partnership. Just in January, uh, we met his 111 year old dad. Mm. This is my most uh, indelible image of Ethiopia. These angels uh, adorn the ceiling of the 17th century Deborah Birhan Selassie Church. In September of 2012, 
County Executive Leggett uh, led a delegation of 40. Ayanna led the festive <coughs> greeting party. We always got flowers and scarves and the works. When the advisory committee informed me that Gondor was the choice, I turned to Dr. Google, and there it was, the Camelot of Africa. Did you all read about castles in your history and geography textbooks about Africa? I, I didn't. Uh, but uh, Emperor uh, Fossil Aedes uh, broke with the nomadic tradition of his predecessors and founded Gondor as the permanent capital of Ethiopia in 1635. The royal enclosure houses the remains of the palaces built by him and his successors. Uh, this is one of the six or seven castles behind this walled city, designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1979. We visited Solomon's School. We also we donated computers there and books. We uh, also donated musical instruments uh, during our trip. We celebrated Mescal, the finding of the true cross in the town square just outside the royal enclosure. Uh, we were sitting with the mayor under a blazing hot sun. On September 27, uh, 2012, County Executive Leggett and Deputy Mayor uh, Gitetnet Amara uh, signed Montgomery County's second sister city agreement. I love these guys. Um, the little guy on the right met us every single morning in front of the hotel and, w and greeted us when we came back to the hotel at night. Um, they weren't begging, they were selling gum. Uh, did they attend school? Um, possibly. Uh, but the schools are uh, half time because there's so many kids. Uh, so they only go for a half day. Uh, so there's plenty of time to learn how to be an entrepreneur. Because of the extraordinary, uh, extraordinarily rich religious traditions of Ethiopia, we visited Aksum and Lalabella, designated UNESCO World Heritage Sites in 1980 uh, and 1978. Aksum uh, is one of the oldest continuously inhabited places in Africa. The story is that the original Ark of the Covenant uh, is here in this uh, church, but none of us will ever know because the only, only the guardian monk may view the Ark. King Lalabella. He had visited Jerusalem. He wanted to create a new Jerusalem as his capital. But instead of building churches of stone, he chose to have each church carved from a single stone during his reign from 1181 to 1221. So there's seven or eight churches like this that are dug out of the stone. The sister cities in El Salvador and Ethiopia had given us so much more than the county executive and I had. Uh, anticipated. We imagined that having sister cities would increase the government's uh, cultural competence, that we would build uh, relations with the communities, we would build a sense of pride uh, in our immigrant communities. But I had no idea what powerful engagement tool they would prove to be. Uh, the people who'd fled El Salvador and Ethiopia uh, because of civil war or repressive government, the first thing they did when they got here was not to run down this city hall and say, hey, I, I, I want to uh, meet with you all. Um, uh, people trying to establish a life in a, in a place where they're challenged by language and culture and employment didn't have the time to participate in Montgomery County's white collar tradition of weeknight advisory committee meetings. El Salvador was the number one country of origin uh, of our uh, immigrant population and yet we had virtually no one from Central America on our Latin American advisory group. County Executive Leggett had created our African advisory group, and we had no one from Ethiopia, the number one country of origin of our African immigrant community. But once we established sister cities, we had literally hundreds of new friends in these important constituencies. Sister cities has proven, had proven its value for our work in community partnerships. Now we needed to add economic development as a point of focus. So the next obvious targets for sister cities were China, India, and South Korea. Uh, China, India, South Korea, El Salvador, and Ethiopia are the five top um, communities uh, uh, where our immigrant population has come from. China was our first priority. Lily Chi, the former Asian liaison who was working in my office at the time, then working on economic development for the county executive, and now one of our delegates in Annapolis, pointed us in the direction of Xi'an. Well, I thought, even I know Xi'an. That's where the Terracotta Warriors are from. Why, I asked Lily, would uh, China's ancient capital, a city of 10 million, uh, with more than 20 universities, want to partner with Montgomery County? Well, they did. 
And we had a strong partner in the Northwestern Chinese American Association of Greater Washington. When we travel, especially on economic development uh, focused trips, we visit more than just one uh, sister, than our sister city. The opportunity to see China with the county executive led to the largest delegation of any of our sister city trips. We took 90 people to China in September of 2013. We started our adventure here in Shanghai. Fuxing Park, laid out by the French in 1909 in the heart of Shanghai is an urban jewel. I am definitely not a morning person, but when I'm in Shanghai, I get up early in the morning to visit this park. The parks in China are giant outdoor senior centers. There's dancers, card players, tai chi everywhere. The story is told uh, that the first emperor of China, roughly 200 BC, uh, wanted to be buried with soldiers who would protect him in the afterlife. One wise advisor suggested terracotta sculptures rather than real soldiers. And a local farmer in 1974 was digging in his farm and it led to the discovery of a terracotta army of 8,000. Uh, the richness of uh, uh, Montgomery County uh, paid off again as we were uh, accompanied on our trip to China. The lady between Hike Leggett and Lily Chi is uh, Mary Kane, a Bethesda resident who was the president of Sister Cities International. Dealing with the Chinese government is not easy. Uh, the process of gaining full status of uh, Sister Cities is time consuming. Approval from Beijing is required. County Executive Leggett and Xi'an Mayor Dong Jun uh, exchanged gifts and signed documents at a lavish banquet on September uh, 30th, 2013, establishing a friendship city relationship. The formal approval of Sister Cities relationship came in August of 2014. One problem for me with economic development oriented trips is we, we've taken is the need to get the county executive to multiple cities uh, in an eight or ten day period, reducing the time we spend on our sister city. I'm a walker, I'm a history buff, and I've been to Xi'an twice, and I regret to say I have yet to walk on the 640-year-old city wall. The most, this, Xi'an has the most complete ancient city wall in China. Uh, but I did get to visit the famed giant wild goose pagoda built in 652. It's shown there in the background of this photo. I enjoy visiting Shanghai much more than Beijing. Uh, but when you're taking people to China for the first and possibly their only time, uh, you got to go to Beijing. The top stop is the Forbidden City. Uh, the Imperial Palace Complex Emperor's called home from 1420 to 1912. A UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1987, the Forbidden City contains 980 buildings over 180 acres. It is the largest collection of preserved ancient wooden structures in the world. The hutongs of Beijing are narrow alleys lined by uh, courtyard residences. Uh, many have been destroyed for roads and new buildings, but enough have been saved to give you an opportunity to travel back in time uh, to a whole other world. Don't go to Beijing and not visit the hutongs. And speaking of a once in a lifetime can't miss, there is the Great Wall of China. Uh, the battling Great Wall, 50 miles uh, uh, from northwest of uh, Beijing is the best preserved and the most complete section of the wall uh, built during the Ming Dynasty uh, 1368 to 1644 to defend Beijing against the intrusion of uh, northern Mongolians. India and China compete for each other for second place uh, to El Salvador as the country of origin of Montgomery County's largest immigrant populations. A several month long process that included a survey of Indian community leaders led to a consensus pick of Hyderabad with two ancient capitals among our three sister cities, uh, Hyderabad was a fitting choice. I am older than the Republic of India. Had India been a country hundreds of years ago, Hyderabad might well have been uh, the capital. Founded in 1591, it is known as the City of Pearls. With the country's most diverse mix of Muslims and Hindus, this city of 10 million people is an economic powerhouse, often referred to as Cyberabad. A county executive arrived in Hyderabad, India in November of 2014 with a delegation of 45. You can see that the county executive was not afraid to crash a photo op for a female photo op that I had planned at uh, the site of one of India's largest mosques. 
Uh, this mosque, completed with a labor of 8,000 workers in 1694, 77 years after the foundation stone was laid, is known as Mecca Majid, uh, as it is said that the soil brought from uh, Mecca uh, to make the bricks that form the mosque's central arch. The prayer hall holds 10,000 people. The mosque lies in the heart of Hyderabad, close to Sharminar, the city's most famous landmark. Uh, we found it worth the uh, uh, hike to the top of the Golconda Fort uh, with glorious views of the nearby dome tombs built for 16th century kings. There's seven or eight of these uh, tombs there. County Executive Leggett signed Montgomery County's four sister city agreement with Hyderabad Mayor Mohammed Majid Hussein on November 14, 2014. Uh, in part as a result of our trip, Infosys Public Services opened a headquarters in Rockville with a mission of driving innovation in healthcare technology. Montgomery County is such an amazing place. Uh, our friend Shishi uh, uh, Shira Vastav uh, works with the Echo Foundation to support education in rural villages. She took us to two of these villages. Uh, it remains a mystery to me how the children around the world and frankly in our own country who have so little can be so positive and so inspiring. If you go to India, you gotta go to Agra, you gotta see the Taj Mahal. The jewel of Muslim architecture was commissioned in 1632 to house the tomb of an emperor's wife who had died in childbirth. 20,000 artisans from across India and beyond were employed. The ivory white marble mausoleum sits on a riverbank and is set in a formal garden. Even a county executive is moved to take a photo. It was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1983. Okay, I have to admit, I had never heard of the Golden Temple until our friend Mirren Poole insisted we go to our, our Remitzer uh, to see it. Honestly, I was afraid we'd be wasting a day. Uh, but just months before our trip, Nicholas Kristof pronounced it, quote, one of the world's coolest places. Well, that was good enough for me. Uh, a 1577 temple set in a lake, demolished multiple times by Muslim armies, and overlaid with gold foil in 1830. This, this is the Sikh community's holiest shrine, and it is breathtakingly elegant. A Taj Mahal without so many tourists. While county residents from Morazan uh, returned on a regular basis, we had not had a large mission trip since we had been there in 2011. Despite some concerns about safety, we organized a return trip in November of 2015. County Council Member George Leventhal had been moved by our 2011 visit to the National Hospital in San Francisco, Gotera. Uh, he presented the hospital with donated equipment as well as a check for $11,000 that he had raised uh, from contributions from county residents and businesses. This was used to modernize the hospital's neonatal natal, uh, care center. I told you earlier that Habitat for Humanity Metro Maryland had really stepped up. Habitat built 26 houses and repaired 23 others in Morazan's El Barrio community. 90 international volunteers participated in 15 Habitat trips over four years, investing $360,000 in this small community. And we were literally greeted by a brass band when we visited. In 2015, we paid our respects at the El Mazote uh, Massacre Monument. Just look at the ages of the children who were killed. Our delegation delivered 150 computers uh, to local schools in Morazan that the county's Department of Technology Services had retired from county uh, service. Every time we go to a school, it's like this. One of the top priorities of the Morazan Sister Cities Committee had been to staff to provide educational opportunities for local students beyond high school. Progress on this initiative has been slow, but progress has been made with technical assistance from Montgomery College, regular fundraisers by the Morazan Sister Cities Committee, and strong leadership from the association, uh, from Evelyn's group, the Association of, for Educational Development for El Salvador. Here we're meeting at the University of El Salvador. Uh, we got to tour the Legislative Assembly of El Salvador in San Salvador. Luckily for us, the U.S. Ambassador to El Salvador at the time uh, is a personal friend of the county executive from the days when they were both White House fellows. Um, 
uh, Marie Carmen Aponte attended the Sister City uh, signing ceremony in Morazan in 2011, and here she's showing off her robust collection of Salvadoran artists when she hosted us for a breakfast at the Ambassador's residence in San Salvador in 2015. We put on uh, hold creating new sister cities for a few years in order to try to strengthen the ones we had. In 2017, we moved forward with the creation of a sister city in South Korea and decided to combine a mission trip to South Korea with a return visit to Xi'an, China. It takes a lot of effort to move groups of 40 to 90 people around the world on our sister city trips. Here's Diane Vu. Uh, in Seoul's Incheon Airport in October of 2017, making sure all our gifts will get to our partners in South Korea and China. Leading these mission trips is like herding cats. Uh, we had 90 delegates in China in 2013, 45 in India in 2014, and 42 on this 2017 trip. Diane knows how to herd cats. And the good news is the County Executive Elrich has appointed her to a place uh, me as director of the Office of Community Partnerships, this bodes well for the future of Montgomery's sister cities. So before heading to our sister city in Daejeon, uh, South Korea, we had a chance to visit a royal palace built in 1395. Despite being just 100 miles from Pyongyang, North Korea, this kid sure seemed relaxed. Um, I will assure you that we were a bit more on edge in October of, of 2017 than he was. Our first night in Daejeon, um, we were treated to a performance by the Hanbat Korean Traditional Music Orchestra. One of the main reasons we selected Daejeon as our sister city was because the Daejeon Metropolitan Office of Education was already working with Montgomery County Public Schools and Montgomery College on a teacher training and teacher exchange uh, program. Uh, Consider the Silicon Valley of South Korea with 19 universities and 500 research institutions and as an administrative arm of the national government just 90 miles from Seoul, Taejeon was a natural pick. Montgomery College, uh, Darian uh, Pollard and County Council Member uh, Craig Rice signed multiple agreements with schools and universities on behalf of the college and MCPS. After signing the fifth Sister Cities Agreement with Taejeon Mayor Kwon Sun Taek on October 23, 2017, County Executive Leggett explained the gift he had commissioned for each of our sister cities. After we were embarrassed by an extraordinary gift uh, from the mayor in Xi'an, it was a miniature replica of uh, a terracotta horse-drawn carriage with some of the soldiers, we realized we needed to step up our gift game. We commissioned renowned silkscreen paint, uh, print artist Joseph Craig English from Washington Grove to produce a suitable gift. Uh, the county executive is really proud of this print and he always takes time to explain it. He's showing that the faces uh, in the print uh, of the uh, Montgomery Youth Orchestra uh, students represent Montgomery County's valued diversity. He says that an orchestra represents his approach to go governing that recognizes that we're better working together and that Strathmore in the background representing Montgomery County's commitment to excellence. Uh, note the translator at the ready, lean in indeed. During our sister cities trip, uh, we often split uh, into several, uh, separate groups, allowing people to explore their priority interests, whether it was economic development or education or health or history. Some of our group visited a royal palace built in the fifth century that definitely utilized the natural uh, topography for defensive purposes. And the county executive led a group to pay respects at the Daejeon National Cemetery. In addition to continued strong support from Montgomery College, uh, we were pleased to be joined on this trip by the leadership of our new Montgomery uh, County Economic Development Corporation, a 2016 initiative of County Executive Leggett to privatize the county's economic development work. MCEDC organized business forums in South Korea and China, including the one here at uh, Hanbat National University in Daejeon. We only had a couple of days in Xi'an, but we really wanted to visit with the new uh, mayor, uh, who treated us to perhaps the most amazing banquet I've ever attended. Check out the table decorations. I try to keep to my role as, a, as our photographer, but when we visited the Xi'an's Hospital of, of Traditional Chinese Medicine, I made an exception. After decades with a bad back, 
some preventative medicine sounded like a good idea. This exercise that this doctor taught me, uh, I have done virtually every morning and night for the last 16 months. And the staff at the hospital practice what they preach. Here's our uh, Montgomery College president demonstrating her leadership skills during our visit uh, to the Terracotta Warriors. I know I'm sounding like a broken record, but it really is a plus to travel with a group from Montgomery County. Mike Goldman, Montgomery uh, representative on the Metro board, was on our trip, and I got to tag along uh, as he got a tour of the Shanghai Metro. Uh, China builds the equivalent of a purple line about uh, every year in many different cities. China's enormous infrastructure investments at home and all throughout Africa and elsewhere may leave us in the dust. Uh, aside from the fact that the system allows them to violate every rule that we uh, hold dear in de a democratic process, it is worth learning how they're able to build what they are able to build. But not all the traffic solutions in Shanghai are state of the art. <laughs> but the maglev train to the airport in Shanghai at 268 miles per hour certainly is. Despite significant interest from the Gondor Sister City Committee, we had not been able to return to Ethiopia since uh, the 2012 signing. A trip planned for 2016 was derailed uh, when the State Department suggested it was not safe. Uh, in January of 2019, we were able to return with a group of 19 led by County Council Member Craig Rice. The first two things we always do when we fly into Addis is to go to the United States Embassy for a briefing and to visit Lucy. Truth be told, Lucy is seldom on display. She's getting up there in age. Lucy's about 3.2 million years old. Home for Lucy, apparently the anthropologists were Beatles fans, is the National Museum of Ethiopian Addis. While there are modern challenges to the theory that we are all Ethiopians, the Rift Valley of Ethiopia has long been called the cradle of mankind because of Lucy. The best way to jump right into the Ethiopian culture is to visit a cultural restaurant in Addis. Despite not having slept for more than 24 hours, that's where we spent our first evening. If you haven't seen Ethiopian shoulder dancing, don't wait till you go to Ethiopia. Just spend an evening in Silver Spring. Our great friend uh, Ayana, uh, who's been with us every step of the way for the last seven years, uh, greeted us at the airport, but we were especially looking forward to meeting the brand new mayor, Dr. Mulumka Nadine. Uh, almost immediately, he reminded me of Morazan Governor Miguel Ventura. The first thing you notice, uh, uh, he's the person to the right of um, Craig Rice. Uh, almost immediately, uh, he reminded me of Morazan Governor Miguel Ventura. The first thing you notice about both men is their modesty and decency. And both of these servant leaders came to their political positions from non-political backgrounds, uh, Ventura from the priesthood and a Dane from the university. Our delegation was warmly received by the mayor and his colleagues from city government at a welcoming dinner at the beautiful Goa Hotel. Our host returned the favor of the Montgomery County artwork we had presented to them with an original painting showcasing the historic city and Emperor uh, Tewodros, who has come to symbolize Ethiopian unity and identity. The dates of our trips to Ethiopia are always governed by our desire to take part in the major religious celebrations of Timkat in January and Meskel in September. Timkat is particularly challenging, but rewarding. So we woke up at 2 a.m., this is after 30 hours without sleep just a day before, uh, to get a seat at 3 a.m. Even the mayor was there by 4 to join us in the front row of temporary stands made by the same ubiquitous uh, eucalyptus trees used as scaffolding on construction projects all over Ethiopia. May I share with you that sitting on these eucalyptus trees is not fun, particularly when you do it for seven straight hours. But the Timcott celebration celebrates the baptism of Jesus. It starts at seven o'clock. Uh, and yes, there's a lot of hurry up and wait in our sister city trips. Uh, but we realized there was uh, something very special about the ceremony we were about to participate in. Something that's been done at this very spot since the middle of the 17th century. Think about that. The Americas were just being colonized by the Europeans. The bass built by Emperor Fasilides 
uh, are only filled with water for this one ceremony. After a magnificent ornate ceremony uh, where the most senior priest carries a model of the Ark of the Covenant, the water is blessed. The most exciting moment comes uh, around two and a half hours into the ceremony when the pilgrims jump in the water to reenact the baptism of Jesus, believing they will be purified. The Ethiopian Orthodox Christians are the largest faith group in the country. Nearly a third of the population is Muslim. In Gondor, 85% are Orthodox Christians and just 12% Muslim. As we had in the past, we visited a major mosque in Gondor. The story of the Ethiopian Jews would take the rest of the morning to tell. Jews have been in Ethiopia for more than 2,000 years. As I pointed out before, the other religions have adopted various Judaic practices. Christian emperors were, uh, wore the Star of David on their crown. The number of Jews has decreased dramatically as many have moved to Israel. The majority of Jews left in Ethiopia live in Gondor. Uh, we visited the Jewish Community Center where prayer sessions are held three times a day. We were greeted by students of the two elementary schools we visited. We donated computers and school supplies. Uh, also on the trip, we uh, brought sports equipment and medical supplies for the health clinic. We were prepared to plant a tree in honor of County Executive Leggett in a, a park to be dedicated uh, to the Montgomery Gondar sister city relationship, but we learned that wouldn't be too prudent because it was the dry season. Uh, we hope to see that tree in the plaque when we return next January. <coughs> Spend some time looking at this. Uh, the Gondor Elementary students are taught about the rule of law. Uh, our group agreed this is a pretty impressive list. As I mentioned before, Montgomery College has been a great sister city partner. Our delegation in January uh, included four representatives of the college who were there to strengthen the partnership with Gondor University. Uh, we had suggested to our host at the city and at the university that we were missing our local Martin Luther King Day celebration and could we maybe have one in Gondar. Uh, they rose to the challenge. The highlight was uh, this riveting play featuring uh, MLK and Emperor uh, Tewodras, uh riveting despite the fact that virtually none of us uh, understood Amharic. Uh, we all decided we need to return for a second annual Martin Luther King Day uh, celebration in Gondar in 2020. The mayor insisted that we visit the Simeon Mountains National Park and provided the van to take us to an one half hour journey uh, north. He was right. The volcanic eruptions of uh, 30 million years ago created extraordinarily beautiful views across valleys and plateaus. We were most taken by the baboon-like uh, gelada uh, that were so busy digging up the roots, because again, it's the dry season, that they paid us little mind even though we were absolutely fascinated by them. Uh, this is another of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Ethiopia. A three-hour drive south of Gondor lies Bahardar. Uh, we were disappointed not to be able to see the falls at the beginning of the Blue Nile at Lake Tana, as uh, had been advertised, but it did give me a chance to sneak away from the group to see Gondor surprise uh, the favor Bahardar and gain a nil-nil draw in a football match before 30,000 fans many of whom had made the long trip from Gondar. The next morning we took an hour's boat ride across Lake Tana and after a 20 minute walk up a hill we reached the monastery. The entire route was lined with crafts people but not in a way that felt pushy or tacky. The crafts were first rate and not overpriced. At the church spectacular murals like this one uh, painted between 100 and 250 years ago tell the story of Christ. <clears throat> Before I left, I found a note from Reverend Mark Greiner of Tacoma Park Presbyterian that it was really important to visit the Red Terror Martyrs Memorial Museum in Addis. I was a bit uncertain about whether the entire group should go, so just my wife Peggy and I uh, went to check it out. We will go here on future trips. I had been uncomfortable all week uh, that we hadn't spent any time understanding the trauma that Ethiopians had lived through in recent decades the trauma that caused so many of them to flee their country and come to Montgomery County. Both of our friends, Ayanna and Solomon, uh, are of an age that they had been arrested, tortured, and thrown in jail for the crime of being teenage boys. I believe people need to know this story. There's a statue of three women out front of this museum saying, never ever again, in large capital letters. 
The museum documents the horrors since Haile Selassie was deposed in 1974. But I noticed a sign that said the museum opened in 2010. My head was throbbing with confusion when we caught up with our group at the university in Addis. A Montgomery County resident making his first return to Addis since his days as a student activist in 2012, he's trying to check out whether this new government really is better, uh, joined us. I pulled him aside and told him I had, visited, I had just visited a museum that was dedicated to never ever returning to repressive government that had been built by a repressive government. He just smiled and said, that's the paradox of Ethiopia. This is, after all, an ancient kingdom that has sustained a great and rich civilization without foreign colonization, but that remains stuck in an agrarian economy. This is a country where the major religion has adopted elements of other faiths. If you're not confused by what you're seeing in Ethiopia, you're simply not paying attention. I need to go back next year and try harder to figure some of this out, and you all are most welcome uh, to join us. So thank you. We can have the lights back on, and uh, I think I got uh, 15 minutes for any questions or comments. You might add Ethiopia at the height of the opera, uh, which is pre-story, uh, pre the, the, the story is a, a war between Egypt and Ethiopia back pre-Christ. Pre Ethiopia's uh, most beautiful of all, all operas. These, thank you, the, these sister cities that we have, uh, again, the two capitals of uh, Gondar uh, and Xi'an, uh, Hyderabad, the Pearl City, uh, uh, Morazan, with, uh, where the Civil War was fought, the mm -hmm. stories and the history uh, on these trips is just incredible. Mm -hmm. And I think the other thing I want to say about, uh, about these trips, uh, my wife is a travel genius, and she took me to China on, uh, for one of our anniversaries. And we had the best guys, and we had a great time, and we had, we had a wonderful experience. But it's nothing like going to China or any of these other cities on a sister city trip, because you're eating meals with the mayor, you're meeting with the government, but you're also getting uh, to meet real people, you're going into the health clinics, you're meeting the kids in the elementary schools. It is just so much richer and more rewarding uh, on on these uh, on these Can trips. Can you go back a minute and say or talk again how you so, or whoever selected yep. these particular sister cities? Thank you. We created a nonprofit because it isn't just Ike the Leggett Sister City Program or even the Montgomery County Government Sister City Program. It's a people to people city city uh, sister city program uh, with our uh, public, and we had a big public forum in the summer of 2009, and. Uh, lots of people showed up, and lots of people had ideas for different sister cities. Mm -hmm. Must go where the people came from who came here. Boom! Changed my mind. Uh, and so we picked Morazan. Uh, not only is Morazan fabulous, and it was a great pick, but that suburb of San Salvador is like a drug capital. Uh, it's incredibly unsafe. So that's how that was picked. Uh, then, uh, as it said, the African advisory group that the county executive had picked, I had no Ethiopians on it, uh, hmm. said, uh, we want one of these. I literally uh, said, folks, we're only going to do about four or five of this under County Executive Legate, so we're only going to pick one from Africa. You have to pick one city in one country in the whole continent. And, like, good luck, you know. And then I want you all to come to me and say we all agree with this pick, not just the folks who won. So they organized hundreds of people, had a nine-month process, had nine, had the uh, diaspora from about nine different African countries competing, and uh, the students at Montgomery College, the Ethiopian students at Montgomery College, along with uh, one of their professors, they won the day. And I got this call, it's Gondar, Ethiopia. I didn't know anything about it until, as I say, I asked Dr. Google and he said it's the camel out of Africa. Uh, so that's that. Uh, China, Lily Chi, uh, now Delegate Lily Chi, uh, was uh, working for me, and I said, okay, it's time to do China. We need to do, uh, China's the second largest population of uh, Montgomery County immigrants. Uh, it's a great economic development opportunity. Uh, where should we go? And she says, Xi'an. Again, I, I know Xi'an, it's so famous. And then I learned it's 10 million people, and then I learned it's got 20 universities, and I'm like, what? 
they wanted to be our sister city uh, because you know we're an economic development powerhouse and uh, next to the capital, and so that was that. That was pretty much an inside process, and I thought that's not a good way to do that. That was a good choice, but not a good way to do that. So. Uh, India was next on our radar. India is right after China in terms of its uh, number of people here in Montgomery County. Uh, and uh, Sanjay Rai, who is a, uh, the academic dean at the college, is a great expert on uh, India and is an uh, economic development uh, expert as well. So we went to Sanjay, we went to other people, uh, and uh, reached out to the Indian community in Montgomery County over a number of months. We did a survey there. Uh, and uh, Hyderabad came up, uh, another good uh, pick. In South Korea, uh, they, some folks had come to us saying, you, okay, fine, you've done India and you've done China, it's time to do South Korea. Uh, and we said, yeah, 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 but uh, we can't just do a new sister city every year. I want, we, we've got to build a stronger, we, we don't want these trips just to be tourism trips. They're great tourism trips, but we don't want people just to uh, have a good time and then nothing happens. And so I said, we got to go back and focus on the, on the three that we have. So we took a few years off. Uh, meanwhile, the people who were advocating for uh, South Korea, uh, Taejeon, they, I said, look, uh, your university wants to connect with us. Why don't you go work with Montgomery College and with uh, uh, Montgomery County Public Schools and if you're working with them, when we go to pick another sister city in two or three years, then you'll be the front runner. That's exactly what happened. They did memorandum of understanding. There's contracts. They send uh, teachers here to be trained. Uh, and so by the time we looked at it, Tejan was the obvious choice. So that's five totally different ways uh, that we have uh, done this. They've all produced really uh, stunningly great sister cities. So wait a minute. So what's done? Going by the immigrants that are settled here right. in Montgomery County, your first choice was El Salvador, second China, third India. Where does Ethiopia? So Ethiopia and South Korea are fourth and fifth That's right. uh, in that number. Ethiopia uh, is the number one country of origin of the African immigrant uh, population, uh, and South Korea is number three in the Asian uh, Asia. in the in the yeah. Asian uh, community. I, I thought, so, I thought so, that would be first. Yeah, so that wasn't a, uh, well, my office was in Rockville, and if you go to the Rockville Town Square on a Saturday afternoon, you, you think you're in Shanghai. Uh, so it was not, it's not surprising. A, we have very large communities from China, from India, from uh, South Korea. Um, uh, so we did not say we're going to do five sister cities, and they're going to be these five top countries. We just had a process that... Uh, relied on people stepping up and saying, hey, we have some energy to do this. Again, the county government was not going to use your taxpayer dollars uh, to, uh, to build all this. We did use our staff time because these were great engagement tools and economic development tools, uh, but we needed to see people that wanted to step up. And so we didn't go, okay, you're the biggest population, so you're going first and second. We responded to what we heard from the public. I have driven by this sign a number of times, I just don't remember the name. Rockville has a sister city also. I, and is that program any way in connection with this or anything similar to that? Yeah, thanks. Um, so I had known that always, that Rockville, so going back, President Eisenhower said, uh, look, after World War II, he, he gets credit for this idea, it's brilliant. He said, look, if you're in the eastern half of the United States, you get a sister city with Germany. And that's what Rockville did right from the beginning, whatever, 60 years ago. Uh, if you're in the western part, uh, then you get a sister city with Japan. That's how all this started. Uh, and then it has broadened uh, since, uh, since then. So I always put uh, the Rockville sister city has a page in this book. And I try to go to some of their meetings in, uh, as well. So they're uh, sort of partners with us, but the county you know, it's not, it, it's their sister city, uh, and we have uh, ours. Uh, I talked to the mayors in Gaithersburg and Tacoma Park, and they're modestly interested in doing uh, something similar. I need a little geography lesson here. Uh -oh. I know where, well, I know where Xi'an is. You go west from Beijing, basically, but not out to the far west. But 
Hyderabad, where do you go from Delhi to get to it? Um, Beijing, where do you go from Seoul to get to it? That sort of thing. What direction are are right, there. so you, you explain uh, where Mar so Dejan uh, is. Dejan is south, obviously, of Seoul because north is there is, is not where to go. Yeah, it's not where we're going to have a sister city. Um, and uh, uh, and Hyderabad is uh, south of, uh, of of New Delhi, uh, and uh, Ethiopia. You're going. Uh, you're going uh, north. You're going north uh, of, of Addis, um, and uh, Morrison, you're going east. Uh, and all these maps are in my trusty little book here. Thank you for the plug. So what do we do? Um, again, uh, we are really, right from the beginning, it was clear that this is going to be community driven. I mean, the first thing I learned about when I went to Sister Cities International is this is people to people. This is not a collegiate Sister City program. This is not even the Montgomery County government's Sister City program. So, so uh, in El Salvador, uh, Evelyn Gonzalez and a number of the other people, there was no education beyond high school in this rural, in the whole, in this whole state, 200,000 people and they had no higher education at all. So their goal right from the beginning was we need to bring some higher education opportunities to our home community. Um, and as I said, progress has been slow. For years, we, uh, nothing happened. And then there have been some breakthroughs. Montgomery College has been down there. Ellen's group keeps plugging at it. They keep raising money. They've raised money for scholarships. The universities in San Salvador have started to open uh, classes and the like. So that was driven by their interest. Uh, and uh, the same is true uh, in the other uh, communities. So China and India and South Korea, uh, economic development is a big focus. And the economic <coughs> development officials from the, uh, from the nonprofit that the county executive set up uh, have been going, went on this last trip, and have been going and will be going on uh, future trips. Sorry, did they, um English and the curriculum, you know, especially for the younger kids, so what they do immigrate over here, because I've uh, substituted in um, English as a second language, it yep. helps that the kids from other countries know even a little bit of English. Uh, so, uh, the, uh, I, I have 400 pictures from the trip in January to, uh, to Ethiopia, and one of the pictures is in a science room uh, where uh, all of the instruction on the board is in English. Uh, I, I think I'm going to get this right. Uh, they start taking English classes right away, but by the time they get to high school, the more advanced classes are all uh, in English. So we find this a lot around the world. One more question. Do we um, contribute textbooks to them? Do, do, do any of the countries need more textbooks? They, they totally do, and uh, Montgomery Sister Cities uh, on the web, and you can contact us. Uh, if you want to make donations. Uh, we have a meeting of our group that went in January to Ethiopia on Sunday, and one of the requests is that we all bring uh, books uh, to ship uh, back there. But e Ethiopia is, uh, right from the beginning, has been asking us books, books, books. We want books in English. We don't care what they're about. We just yeah. want uh, books in English. So lots of donations are possible. The Ethiopian Airlines, for instance, will donate that, okay, fine, you're doing a good thing. We'll give you some free space. Um, so we negotiate uh, some of that. Thank you very much for being here. I appreciate it.